You know, many of my students that take my class here in uh, Austin on day one will tell me that they want to paint um, in an impressionistic style. Don't want to paint real tight like photoreal, but more impressionistic. And so um, I always have to clarify or get clarification from them and ask them, you know, do you mean you want to paint loose like Sargent? And then I'll show them a really loose Sargent painting. Or do you mean you want to paint in the style of Monet and, uh, and even Van Gogh, uh, who was considered also to be an Impressionist by some people? But let's just start by saying, well, what is Impressionism? And I think that that's um, really one of the big, you know, you, you can go read about Impressionism and you'll get a hundred different uh, definitions. And obviously there's no, you know, perfect definition. It's not like there's an authority that's, that, that, you know, will tell you exactly what it is. Well, let's just go back a little bit into the history of art. And if you go back to like the 1400s or even 1500s and, and really throughout that whole period, um, the pursuit of you know, oil painting was all about realism, always uh, uh, trying to paint things as realistic as they possibly could. But if you take that to a certain point, you, know, you, just, you start painting every little thread in the fabric. Um, some artists were painting the veins and the wings of the fly that was on the apple in the still life. Um, and that's, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but that is a particular, uh, you know, pursuit that really is, takes you away from true realism. So if you look at this painting um, here, you can see that um, it's an attempt to really put in all this super detail. But if you take a look at this uh, painting by Velazquez, and Velazquez was a real pioneer along with uh, Rembrandt, and they were the first artists really um, who started to paint things um, in a suggestive way. So that if you get really close and look at this Velazquez painting, you can see that the eye is just a smear of paint, you know. And if you look at his ear, it's just some spots of color. Um, same with, um, you know, the color in the mouth and, and everywhere else. If you look down here in the sleeve of the jacket, it's very loose. So this was a radical departure from the norm and from whatever all the other artists were doing. And that is why Velazquez is considered to be one of the absolute greats in the history of art because he was really painting high realism. And if you look at this portrait, this is a portrait of a man. You can see all his character, you can see his personality, and it's much more uh, lifelike and human-like, uh, in my view, than these super detailed uh, you know, paintings that look more like mannequins or plastic almost. Um, and Rembrandt was the same way. They were really contemporaries, Velazquez and Rembrandt. And if you look at Rembrandt's paintings, it was the same thing. And, um, you know, in his day, uh, people complained to Rembrandt about uh, the fact that he was layering the paint on so thickly. And, he, and they said, they used to say that you could hang your coat on a Rembrandt painting because the paint was protruding out so much. But in my view, Velazquez and Rembrandt were absolute pioneers in the world of uh, oil painting, especially uh, realism, because they took us from focusing on detail to focusing on color and value. Because when you step back and look at a painting from seven feet away, you're not seeing that detail. You're seeing the value, but those values and those colors is what makes it look real. It's not the detail. Um, you know, Rembrandt had another great saying. Uh, he said, paintings are not for smelling, they're for looking. And that's exactly right, you know. And if a painting falls apart and looks ugly when you get up close to it, it's a really of no, no, it has no bearing on the art itself because a painting should be viewed from seven feet away. Um, okay, so let's take a look at some of these um, early impressionistic paintings. And you can see this painting by uh, Monet is very similar to a uh, Sargent S painting. The values are right, the colors aren't amped up. It's really a very realistic painting, but it is impressionist, uh, meaning that it wasn't, uh, you know, he's not putting all the details in. Um, and then carrying this further, there were a lot of artists that were really just pushing back against these uh, artists that were painting realism. And they were saying it was more the impression that the painting gave, uh, hence the, the, the word impressionism. Um, and, um, and I love impressionistic painting, but the paintings that I particularly love are the ones where the values and the colors are similar to what you would see in real life. And that's just my own taste, you know. Um, I do like these paintings like this one here by uh, Monet that is uh, incredible uh, color. It is definitely not realistic color, but it's still a beautiful painting. And I absolutely can appreciate this and I love it. Um, but I just think that if uh, you really ask me what I liked, I would say a painting like this one 
is the best kind of uh, impressionism where the values and the colors are right but if you get in close it's just a mess and that's really what Sargent was so good at and you know in his day Sargent was actually considered by some people to be an impressionist and this painting in particular here was considered a master impressionist painting uh, by many of the critics in his day. But I just think that all these labels, Impressionism or not, you'll never get a, a black and white definition as to what Impressionism is. Um, but it, for me, Impressionism and good Impressionism is painting what you see, not worrying about the details, um, getting in there and just putting in your color and putting it in strongly and boldly. And whether you like Impressionism like this or Impressionism like this, you know, that's just a matter of taste. And after Impressionism was uh, firmly established, you had uh, Pointillism come out, which is another uh, way. And so Pointillism is just paintings where you paint little small colored dots. And Pointillism is really just almost a form of uh, Impressionism. Uh, it was practiced by a lot of artists, but it's just, you know, reducing your painting down to just a, a whole bunch of colored dots. And even Van Gogh um, did some uh, pointillism. When, and I think, as a matter of fact, that point, uh, Van Gogh is the greatest of all the pointillists, if you considered him to be one. But he kind of took it and went in his own direction uh, with it. Oh, before I say goodbye, I just want to let you guys know that we are restocking paint as quickly as we can. We now have white back in stock and a limited supply. So uh, as soon as we sell out, we'll be making more. So go check that out. We still are out of French Ultramarine, but we're working as fast as we can to get it in as quickly as possible. Thank you guys for your support, and we'll see you in the next one.